is Rosa from Rosa's Resources. Uh, you're going to be hearing my navigational system come in and out, but that's fine. Um, I want to thank all of the subscribers for listening, taking their time out to listen to my program. Um, I talk about real life issues on here, especially domestic violence as it relates to narcissistic abuse. And I'm speaking from experience and work environment, intimate relationship, and family related narcissistic abuse. We talk about a lot here generational curses, spirituality, and just getting better with self and learning to love yourself. And we're healing through narcissistic abuse together. So please like, share, and make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you can know when I make a new video okay guys again I want to thank you so much for taking the time out today I would like to talk to you guys about escaping the narcissistic abusive relationship and also making sure you use the pain to fuel you what I mean by that when you found out that the person that you've been laying down with do not have no love for you and everything was a pretense, you are going to be hurt by this information. But you got to let that pain fuel you. Fuel you to get out of the abusive relationship. Fuel you to love yourself more. Fuel you to, to heal. Fuel you to do everything that you wanted to do that you never did because the relationship was holding you back. <sighs> you got to put you first. Okay? Because if you don't love yourself, nobody can love you. People are only going to treat you the way you treat yourself. So if you're treating yourself like a downgrade, if you're treating yourself less than, then that's how they're going to... Uh, why would they look up to you? Why would they treat you better? Then look how you're treating yourself. If I could box you around and treat you any time away, treat you any derogatory way I want to, why would I look up to you? You're not even standing up for your own self. You know what I mean? You might not look at it like that. But this is how the person is thinking. When you're in a relationship, you're not thinking that you're treating yourself like that. You're thinking that you're pouring into somebody that you love. But the somebody that you love don't love you. The somebody that you love don't even think about themselves like that. They're wondering, why are you with them? Because they're in so much pain. They can't even see themselves. They can't even love themselves. So how could you possibly love them? And you have real genuine love for them. But all they have in their heart for you is hate. So right now at the point of the relationship that the relationship is broken. And it keeps on getting in worse and worse turmoil. And every time you get abused by this person. Being it financial, sexual, physical, verbal. Whatever the abuse is, it's getting worse. But when it gets to the point where it's physical abuse. And you can see that this person is trying to destroy you. Have no love for you. You got to leave guys. I don't care if you leave with a shirt on your back. You got to just leave. And you know that God is going to take care of you. I know it's easier said than done. You, you're thinking about all the material things that you're leaving behind. But I'm telling you that it's, worth, it's not worth your life. Walk away with your dignity. Walk away with the, with, the, with the little strand of love that you have left for yourself. Because you feel like you're in the mud now. Walk away with your head up a little bit. Like, you know, your, head, your chin is down. Just lift it up a little bit and walk away from this relationship that is no longer serving you. It was all a trick. The person was wearing a mask and the person do not care about you. And if you have kids, they worse or don't care about the kids. And they are showing you this in their actions, but all you're doing is listening to their words. Guys, do not listen to their words. Watch their action. A person that love you is not gonna kick you down when you have a baby in your stomach. They're not gonna kick you down. They're not gonna slap you. They're not gonna mistreat you. They're not gonna lie to you. They're not gonna treat on you. If a person love you, they wanna care and, 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 and take care of your, your health, your heart health. They're not going to ever jeopardize the relationship that they care about, ever. They're never going to do that, ever. So, you know, like a lot of us are dying for love in these relationships these days. And I need you to know and hear me and hear me well. Walk away. 
When you walk away from this abusive relationship, guys, God is going to pour out his amazing love for you. He's going to guide you. The Holy Spirit is going to guide you. He's going to, when you don't know where to turn, the Holy Ghost is going to lead you. You know, guys, in the Bible, it says when you don't know how to pray anymore, when you don't know how to, and I'm paraphrasing right now, when you don't know how to speak in tongues anymore, just hum. Let the Holy Ghost hum for you. Let him take over and pray for you. You understand what I'm saying to you guys? Because you don't know what to pray for anymore because you're so broken. Let the Holy Ghost, if you gotta, if you gotta hum, then hum. If you gotta, if you gotta talk in tongues, then talk in the angelly language and, and let the Holy Ghost take over for you guys. Open your mouth and ask God to come into your life. Save you, save you and deliver you from evil. Okay, you do not want to get out of this relationship in a body bag. And I want you guys to know that leaving a, a domestic violence situation is the most dangerous part of the relationship is when you're trying to flee because you're trying to resist the devil. Okay, that spirit behind that person is really, really wicked. And if you stay there long enough, you're going to see they're not going to have no love for you. And then they're going to abuse you and then they're going to come and try to uh, love bomb you. That is not love. Okay? They're trying to keep you in a relationship. Nobody's supposed to control you. God don't even want to control you. He gives you free will. He gives you a choice. So how is the most amazing, sweet, loving God going to want you to submit to somebody that is abusing you? Are you kidding me, guys? I once was blind, but now I'm found. Amazing grace, how sweet it is. To save a wretch like me. Amazing grace, how sweet it is. Thank you, Jesus, for saving a wretch like me. Thank you. When you leave in the relationship, you, you're not going to see that as a blessing. But God snatched you out of that relationship to save your soul. You probably should have been dead in the name of Jesus. Thank God he saved you guys. Please flee. If you know anybody going through a domestic violence situation, give them Safe Horizon uh, information, safehorizon.org. They will give you, uh, put you in a different state, guys. They will help you move. They will help you change your lock. They will help you with protective order. We all know protective order, guys. It's just a piece of paper. But should something happen to you, the police know who to go look for. Don't let that uh, abusive person, especially if they're a narcissist, get away with treatment you badly don't let them get away with it do not stay silent start telling your story the abuser wants you to stay silent so they could keep you in captivity release yourself let god rescue you speak up open your your mouth um, close mouth do not get fed open your mouth and let god feed your spirit talk to god open your mouth tell somebody that you're being abused in this physical world. God already know. Go to somebody that could keep your confidential business. And tell somebody that you could trust. Somebody that's not going to go back and talk to the abuser. Tell somebody that you're getting abused. And tell them exactly what's going on. So somebody could have a reference. Okay? It's the saddest thing when somebody could say when something happened to you and the, the abuser is standing there with the police talking about he's searching for you, crying crocodile, crocodile tears and looks so convincing because they're liars. So, of course, they believe their own lies. It's the saddest thing to see, guys. So I petition and ask you guys, please, to speak up. Let your family know what's going on with you. Tell, speak up. So that, abu that abuser will flee. They will know that you're not going to keep their abusive secrets. And if you are an abuser and you're abusing someone, I suggest you get help. Because you're either going to kill somebody or they're going to kill you. Or and and you will end up in jail. You don't have to keep on um, on that uh, on that street that you, you're walking in. You don't have to keep on on that. You can move on. You can get help. It's going to be hard work. But abusers, you can get help. Cry out cry out go get help because you're sick you're mentally sick and all of this sickness is coming from your childhood trauma that you're not accepting so you keep on reliving that abuse from your childhood and you're, you're putting it in every relationship that you're in it don't matter how nice the person is to you you're going to abuse them because that's all you know is abuse that's all you know
So I'm asking you too, abuser, to go and get help. You know what you're doing. You know it's not everybody else. You know it's you. You know you had some amazing ladies in your life, some amazing men in your life. You know that. But you can't love them because you don't love yourself. You don't know what love is, so how are you going to show them love? You could pretend. You could uh, project from their love. Mirror them. You could do that. But you cannot genu genuinely show love because you don't have it in you. Uh, and the victims, they cannot give you love because they don't have it in you. Not everybody could love, guys. Okay? Not everybody could love. They could mirror you and fake it. But generally, they don't love you. Genuinely, they don't love you at all. It's all a pretense. And you need to break the generational curse because the kids are going to keep on uh, going in that cycle. They're going to treat their kids like that because the whole family think that's normal. You know, when I was younger and I used to get abused by my child's father, when I used to come in the house, bloody up, bleed up, it was like nothing. It was normal. So I thought it was normal. But something inside of me knew that something was wrong. But I had narcissistic uh, people in my family. You understand me? And they were weak. But I knew something was wrong. So I got out of that relationship with the, with the skin of my teeth. I almost died several times, guys, in an abusive relationship. Okay? And I'm telling you guys, um, I don't care what you think this uh, abuse I have. Whatever his, whatever his fake love is or her fake love is, it can be sweet like God love. It can be sweet like God love. Trust and believe in God and let him walk you through this disaster. Your kids deserve better. You deserve better, guys. You know, like, just look in the news. In the news I'm so tired of, like, people losing their life to abuse. People losing to their life to what they think is love. I'm so tired, tired for that. But after you get out of the relationship and you get your strength up, guys, and you start getting out of that cloud, you're going to see that you really don't need that abuser. You're going to feel better. You're going to feel free. You're going to start doing things that you enjoy doing again. You're going to tr be triggered. You're going to cry, but that's okay. In the long run, you're going to feel lonely sometimes, but in the long run, you're going to feel much better because you're not getting abused. You're going to also feel like you want to go back to the abuser, but I'm telling you guys not to do that. Why would you heal so good and go back to the abuser? Because it's a familiar spirit. Do not go back to that devil. That person do not love you. As hard as, as, hard as it is, and I know what I know what I know. As hard as it is and you want to go back, love yourself enough. Use that pain to fuel you. Go and take up a skill that you always wanted to learn. There's so much Zoom classes out here right now. I'm so tired of getting those things in my, um, in my email. So just try one. Develop uh, whatever you wanted to do that you didn't do. Go develop that. Go hang out with your kids. Go mentor a kid. Go in the hospital if you want to be grateful for your life. Go in the hospital and just volunteer and maybe give out water. Or go sit down and hold a child that the parents ran away from. Uh, the parents abandoned the kid. Go hold that child so that child don't become a narcissist. Because you know that when the baby is small and don't get hugs and eye contact from their parents, they don't get that nurturing that they need from, from a loving person. Eye contact, love, hugs. You got to hold the baby. You know what I'm saying? You got to connect with the baby. That baby needs to feel the warmth. You know what I'm saying? If not, later on, they're going to disconnect. So, guys, um, yeah, man. All these domestic violence story is, like, very, very hurtful. And the fact that they also are killing the kids. One disturbing story when the girl said the guy tried to get full custody from his kid. And instead of just... Uh, Make him go ahead and get the full custody. You can always fight. You know, you can rebuttal that. She decided to kill the kid. But uh, the little boy is still alive, praise God. But now the little boy is going to have that abandonment issue when he gets older. You understand? And now his mother is gone. He's going to wonder why did she do this to him. He was so innocent, you know? All because adults don't know how to get together and put their differences aside. Because you're toxic and you're, you know, you're not healthy. Healthy people could break up and still have respect for each other and just depart and know that this is not healthy for us no more. We got to move on. But unhealthy people hold grudges. You know, um, look at my video before this and you're going to see I had a conversation with a gentleman 
and I was talking to him just you know I'm doing a serious now guys uh, talking to husbands because I really need to get into these men mind because I would like to know why I'm talking to men over and over again and they said they've been 20 year relationship five year relationship whatever the time frame was and they hate their wives even after the breakup because they hate their wife because they still got emotional trauma because they never gave her no closure. They never have any closure from that relationship. So yeah, they still hate her. Even after 20 years. That means you have a lot of unforgiveness in your heart. Use that pain. Let that pain fuel you to go and get that bachelor degree. To go and start that career that you always wanted to. To go and be that designer that you wanted to be. To go and do whatever the abuser said you couldn't do. Use that fuel and rise okay guys just rise just rise just don't look back don't look back and turn into a pillar of salt like lot's wife okay yeah your future is in front of you and i know it's painful when you really love somebody but if they can't love you back they got to work on themselves and when you go back to an abuser it only gets worse it's a cycle of abuse. It's a cycle, guys. It's trauma that they have from childhood that they never looked into. And they're going to start, keep on reliving that. And you know, when you become an adult, you're so stuck in your ways. And some adults will go and get help. But toxic people, man, they just continue the cycle because they're so dense in their thinking. They're stuck in their mind, you know? I love you guys. Uh, please hit that subscription button. But better yet, leave me a comment in here. And let me know what you guys ever went through, what abuse you went through, how did you escape your narcissistic, narcissistic relationship, what, uh, if you have any tips for anybody escaping um, an abusive relationship, please leave it here. But better yet, how do you, did you use your pain to fuel you, and where are you now in today's life? Like, where are you because of the pain? It had to happen, guys. Okay? It had to happen. Okay, there's many Jud Judases in our lives. Many Jud Judases, so they're going to betray you. If they betrayed Jesus, who are you? Okay? Don't take it personal. These people are mentally ill, and they got to work on themselves. You can't fix them. Just pray for them. That's the best thing you could do. You don't have the power to fix these people. Okay? In the name of Jesus, I hope that we continue to heal each and every one of us. In the name of Jesus, I pray that this do not this abuse do not carry over into another generation. And I pray that you will stand up to that abuser, no matter how scared you are of them. But I'm going to tell you guys, do not do reactive abuse. So don't you as a victim turn into an abuser in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask God to protect you all. Okay? Have a great day. Thank you.